Welcome back to the YouTube channel. How's it going? Coming from you at a beautiful morning here in Boulder, Colorado. And quite honestly, it has been a very busy week. It is the holiday rush, so who knows? It's just such a scramble this time of year to get work done. But I was thinking to myself, when am I going to have the time to record a YouTube video considering that this week is crazy with so much different client work going on? But I saw on my calendar this morning, I have a network event to go to through the Boulder Chamber of Commerce. I've been a part of for nearly two years at this point. It's a great networking group to be a part of here in Boulder. People are very friendly and very welcoming and very interested in actually genuinely getting to know you and maybe referring you to a helpful connection or perhaps even working together in some sort of business partnership. So I figured I would take the time to just document the morning. We'll be going on a little vlog in just a second here. We got a little coffee shop meetup networking event that I'll be taking some videos at, introducing myself to some new people and seeing some new friendly faces. But yeah, I want to just take a quick moment to talk about the importance of networking events, especially if you're looking to be an entrepreneur growing your business, or you are working in sales or business dev or something and you're trying to help the company grow its revenue and its sales. Networking, I have found, and believe me, I am the last person who would ever want to go out to a networking event, wake up early, shake hands with people, talk, make conversation. Not that I don't think I'm socially graceful, because I would say I am. But the marketing introvert in me would much rather just sit at home at a computer desk and just start trying to pursue some sort of online marketing strategy to generate inbound leads, which is generally the type of work I do for my clients. But I have found, and it's very true, it's a very common saying in the business, but it is true that your network is your net worth. And recently, this kind of came very obvious to me when I did an 80-20 analysis on my business, essentially looking at what are the 20% of inputs that are driving 80% of the results I'm seeing. and then. From this analysis, you can then extrapolate and double down on the 20 things that are working to drive all the business success for yourself. But I came to realize that of the 25 or so clients I've signed since running this business for two and a half years full time, 90% plus were in my network. That was really what opened my eyes to the power of networking and the power of knowing people. Because at the end of the day, these independent marketing strategies, how I would classify myself, by the way, if you're new here. My name is Bailey Canning. I'm an independent digital marketing strategist working with service-based businesses around the country to help them increase online traffic, generate leads, ultimately grow revenues. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can learn all about the stuff I'm doing and keep up with all that. Anyway, it is so hard to differentiate and stand out because it won't be the same. A lot of the prospects who are you're looking to generate a sale from don't know much about marketing, so they don't know how to even evaluate your service offerings. And then also, people just really want to do business. I've not come to find with people they know. There is a comfort factor to knowing that if we need to meet up in person, we can do that. There is a comfort factor to knowing that we've met. I am a real human being and all that. I've generated a good amount of leads from these networking events. I've come to sign a couple of clients to these events, which are great. Working on a project right now with a really cool local business here in Boulder. Do the website and then hopefully work together on a marketing campaign after that. But yeah, and then otherwise, I've met some cool people at these networking events. It's a very good social outlet to get out of your desk when you're working from home, especially, especially if you're an entrepreneur or a solopreneur such as myself. So I think I've rambled enough. I'm running late to the networking event. I'm always like five minutes fashionably late, but it's okay. And yeah, let's head over there. We're going to Capital One Cafe here in Boulder, and I will show you a Just walking out of the networking event now. I got like a free notebook and some water. Um, it was a good event. Met some cool people. Some people I had already seen before. Some people, new people I met. Some people in marketing as well, which is very good for me because honestly, the two types of people I primarily work with are either going to be marketing directors. Got to look both ways when you cross the street. But either marketing directors of large uh, organizations, businesses, nonprofits, etc. Yeah, good networking event. Good to see people, good to socialize right and early in the morning and take care of that. Now we got a busy day at work. I got to hit up the co-working space I go to on Pearl Street here in Boulder. But yeah, honestly, some promising prospects. I'll follow up with them. That is key. Networks, you got to follow up. But when it comes to these networking events, you really can't be looking to generate leads right away, nor do you really want to be selling yourself. You really just want to get to know people in a casual way, see if you can provide value to them by... For me, whether it's just giving them free marketing advice or seeing if there's someone else I can connect them with based on their needs and business goals and all that. 
yeah, it was good. Some people were like, we should stay in touch. People did compliment me on these videos, which is always nice to see that it's resonating with the community and all that. Also, hopefully the audio is okay right now. I'm not on the mic, but we will see. I wanted to just leave you with a quick note on how to view the networking in general. Number one, when it comes to marketing, sales, growing your business, growing your company, et cetera, you never want to have your eyes all in one basket. Rather, you want to be spending your time probably pursuing two to three different activities for new business development. So for me, one of the key things is obviously networking so I can meet people in the local area. But then two, also, I'm producing content like this on YouTube, taking that content and splitting it out into short form chunks on LinkedIn, for example. So that way I'm staying top of mind with the people I connect with on LinkedIn. And so, yeah, basically I would look at it as one part of a broader online marketing strategy, this networking stuff. You meet someone, you connect with them at an event, you follow up with them on LinkedIn, and then you keep posting content consistently. And whether they reach out to you for something in a year, two years, 10 years, et cetera, it's a long cycle and you got to be in it for the long haul. Secondly, I also wanted to show you this real quick. There is this plaque, this first school in Colorado opened up in 1860. I walk by it all the time, but it's just wild to me out here west in Colorado where the pioneers were coming at that time, setting up shop, building out a whole new society. And then meanwhile, on the East Coast, the country was embroiled in a horrible civil war. So a little short history lesson, but all right. Hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye.